So that's another FPL season wrapped up, and all that's left is to quickly look back at how the FPL tips team performed in the final game week. With Mourinho suggesting that Romero would start ahead of De Gea, it was expected that Matt Ryan would come in between the sticks, ahead of Brighton's trip to Anfield, but a four-point hit to transfer in a new goalkeeper had a low chance of paying off in any big way. Burnley have had a fantastic season, finishing in 7th place and keeping a tally of 12 clean sheets, but sadly they were unable to end on a win in front of their home fans against Bournemouth. Swansea were not only in need of a win, but they also needed to make up a goal difference of 9 with Southampton to have any chance of staying up. Unsurprisingly, that didn't happen, and the Swans suffered a 2-1 defeat to a Stoke side who'll join them in the Championship next season. Congratulations to anyone who owned Robertson or Van Aanholt in defence this week. The pair of attacking fullbacks each provided a clean sheet, goal, assist and maximum bonus points to earn 18 points apiece. Before we move on to the midfield, I'd like to quickly announce that there'll be a Patreon page for you to join ahead of the 2018-19 FPL season, where you'll get exclusive rewards, such as access to an FPL league with prizes, a chat service on slack.com where we can all interact and discuss FPL, and a series of live streams with myself where we can hang out and talk about the upcoming game weeks as they unfold. So if you like the sound of that or if you just want to support the channel, then please head over to patreon.com forward slash FPL tips for more information. On to the midfield then, and the two standout performers were Marko Inatovic and of course Mohamed Salah, with the pair each registering a goal and assist. The Egypt international secured the golden boot ahead of Harry Kane, and also set a Premier League record for the highest number of goals scored in a 38 game campaign. Salah took four efforts inside the box and three on target against Brighton, missing two big chances, so could even have added to his impressive score. Jan Vertonghen suffered an injury in the warm-up after initially being named in the starting lineup to face Leicester, and that unfortunately saw Willian come in for his one-point cameo, during Chelsea's 3-0 defeat to Newcastle. Wilfred Zaha was the Crystal Palace midfielder we all wanted in our teams, but Ruben Loftus-Cheek was a more affordable compromise made to fund the move for Salah. Man City eventually got the win to reach 100 points, but Southampton gave them a good game, and Raheem Sterling was unable to register a shot on target for his second game in a row. There were a number of casualties when the starting lineups were announced, and Gabriel Jesus was one of the unfortunate players to find themselves on the bench. He did, however, come off the bench to score the all-important winning goal for Man City, but those of us who let go of Vardy and Mahrez for Jesus and Sterling ahead of last week's double game week will be feeling a little hard done by. It looked like the right thing to do on paper, but of course Vardy found the back of the net once last week and added another two goals against Spurs on the final day, while Mahrez provided two goals and two assists over the last two game weeks. Finally, Harry Kane scored a brace against Leicester to earn one point more than Salah in game week 38 and seal an incredibly entertaining 5-4 win for Spurs. He ends the season with 30 goals, two behind the Egyptian king, despite taking more shots in total from inside the box and on target than any other Premier League player this season. So 63-4 was a respectable score, but not enough to avoid a red arrow unfortunately. The third consecutive red arrow, which has seen a drop in rank from 13k in game week 35 down to 28k in game week 38. It's not a disastrous season, but it's disappointing to finish outside of the top 10k for the first time in four seasons, especially after achieving a top 2k finish last time around. But huge thanks to everyone for watching and supporting the channel and helping us to continue to grow, and be sure to let me know how you got on in the comments section below as always. And once again, please do check out the FPL Tips Patreon page to join our community of FPL managers and get exclusive rewards.